right. Is, is there like a way I can just tell them to stop doing this? What are the two numbers that are <coughs> orange on Victor? As I said multiple times, this is a banking failure. This is also, this over here is basically just an event that's forced on them, that's dropping their economy again. In addition to dropping their economy, I cannot try to raise their economy by any means. Oh, so basically until that little timer runs out. Yep. And I'm currently trying to like assist them by basically improving every other RCI value on their planets to improve birth rates, science, and otherwise across their entire planet, just to make it so their people aren't in complete shambles. Because currently they have a zero population growth. The Raxians have got another outpost somehow, but that should be destroyed by the Burlusts before too long. Can I look at the planet? Yes, I'm going to stop this for now. Hang on. What is going on with your planet, and why is your population not rising? Because of state of internal war. There's a civil war on their world. Yep. Yep. That's well, the problem. that's why right there. It's, I can't do anything about it right now because they're stuck in internal in internal war until we can force them out of it. Which means, actually, because we have time bought... Hey, Acutians. Services. Can you... Okay, pacify some of the AFA demonstrators. There we go. Um... I want to invest real estate. No, I want to, like, assist or bankroll another empire. Are you capable of doing this somewhere? Hmm. Transportation? No. Technical. Yeah, let's accelerate warship mobilizations just across the board. I guess I'm just stuck here trying to fix the elders. Because they're currently warmongers with one person being an isolationist. So if I'm going to harvest space junk, it's going to give me a lot of credits. And then maybe I might just start forcibly bankrolling stuff for improving their economy. Do a higher death than populace is so demoralized, and we're having pirates again. But they only have two arm- oh, they have eight outposts. Do you want to blow up some pirates before we have another pirate- before we have a pirate faction just pop up out of nowhere? Annihilate. Alright. Well, let us get a move on. Let us- who do we want to choose here? Who do I want to take for a spin? Hey, Boreens! Let's go- oh. How many AFA insurgents do you have on your planet? You've got a lot of insurgents. Aside from that, let's help destroy a pirate base. Hurt pirates, genocide's a good answer. I will follow you until the day we die. And these are Acution pirates. We've tripled the range of all of our guns and are going to be hitting everything available. So let us begin the auto-firing of death. Are your shields gone yet? Not yet. Shortwave virus? 
Okay, good. We're actually starting to destroy some of the pirate enclosures by just merely existing. That's good enough to hear. So I just need to sit around for just a little bit longer. Giga Cannon. Shortwave Virus. It's cloaking Field. Quit firing on me. I don't want to die. Not yet. Then triple range? And the cloaking field has to recharge. But I can hit the pirate enclosure with the energy blaster. So full energy blaster, pirate enclosure. We should be able to kill it if our guns can reach. Uh, wasn't yesterday supposed to be a stream for the great race? It was until someone lost their computer in the meantime because one of their family members decided to be an idiot and just take it with them without asking. Oh, that, that would make sense, actually. Why are there ships like this? Giga Cannon. Does Biggest. nothing. I, I need Biggest to replace Giga Cannon. It's actually, it is legitimately useless. Because the devs hate you, that's why. If one pirate enclosure, where is it hiding? Because as soon as it... Oh, it's just right above me. How much health does it have? I don't think I'll survive, so I'm going to see if I can... Okay, that cleared off most of the shots that come my way. <sighs> Getting ridiculous. Who has better ships? Acutians. Acutians, give me a better ship. No, I, I, I can't click on anyone else. It's not letting me. Okay, Acutians. Why can't I click on the Acutian homeworld? Okay, there we go. Let's, let's, no, let's destroy a pirate base. Then play, triple range, stealth all of our allies, and then energy blaster targeting, full power targeting all the pirate bay. That was so much easier. Your influence is already below 1,000 with the Thraxians, and thus can never be improved. Excellent. I have effectively demonized myself. Anyway, let us go and destroy another pirate base. Of the genocidal variety kind. What else are we doing here? Oh. Well. We know what happens here. Clay, triple range, stealth. With our range triplified, we can fire all the way across the galaxy. Okay, it's not that far, but it's pretty far for like this little flat, dinky flagship thing that can just shoot all the way out there. That one's gonna die. You're not getting fired upon just yet, so I'll just send a constant stream of bullets down there. Oh, uh, next batch of triple range. I think you should try building a sniper ship. There's no way to do that because I don't have any weapons that are good for doing that, and the weapons that would work for that all frankly suck because they're too slow. Oh. And they're low damage, I guess, too. It, it, yes, because of the fact that they're too slow, they are low damage. Because they just don't do enough whenever they fire. Makes sense. It's the problem. It's the problem of this game is that there's just no reason to switch from... There are more pirates. How many pirate bases are out there? There are seven outposts. Let's continue to just blow up more pirate bases. <laughs> So there's now more pirates. 
even though we already killed two of them. So. No, because there's there's now a total of seven outposts. We killed two of eight. And it's only because that the Acutians have a pandemonium level economy. And we can't fix their economy right now because they keep having banking crisis after banking crisis. <laughs> so we are doing our best of the Yarhar Fiddly D variety of just blowing up everything else. That is not to be. Ah, uh, Peltian Pirates. I'm terrified of these guys because they're actually pretty strong as far as anything's concerned. Then I'll cloak after setting all this up. Triple range, aim, and fire. Greetings, Wakalicious, and you have arrived. I am fine, how about yourself? We're just doing the most annoying thing in the game of clearing out pirates before they form the Pirate Federation, because the Pirate Federation is just something that no man in their right mind would ever want to deal with. It will be annihilated. Also, hello, Wako. I also feel as if I'm doing a lot better at Darkest Dungeon than I was before, because I've changed a lot of things for better or worse. Giga Cannon? Which did nothing. Oh, like what? What did you change? What, what they had changed about their game... Oh, don't do Polarity Corruption. Goodness, no. Polarity Corruption's the worst thing I could theoretically try. No, uh, they changed how the no torchlight runs work. In that they're no Jesus, keep just destroying their shots, please. Can a few I can only alternate these for so long. I just need a few bullets to connect, that's all. Oh wait, no, I need, like, a few more seconds. Acutions, it's not gonna be good. You're gonna hate me. Polarity Corruption. Stealth. Get off my back. Breakfast and a show indeed, as we are trying to now officially end the last Federate- Wait, are you auto-firing? You're auto-firing! Why are you auto-firing? Do you to fire on this thing? <sighs> anyway, that's another pirate base destroyed. Thraxians can continue to construct... Thraxians continue to construct endless amounts of outposts. For some reason, they just have this ability to do this, even though they're at war with several different races and their outposts should be, by all rights, getting blown up. Okay, good. We're down to six pirate bases. <sighs> hey, Cushions. C can I...? Uh, nanotubes would help. I'll do a free return of prisoners. Is there a technology I can learn? Yee, yeah, that's orbital bombardment. I don't need ground military. No, it was Andor's who learned it. So, Andor, no, not Andor, Parliament. So, can I learn Graviton Theory? If I'm gonna just do that, I'm just gonna hire 11 scientists and learn it in a month. So, how'd they uh, change? How, how did Darkest Dungeon change the... Oh, um, they changed the low-light runs by removing the crit buffs from it. They basically removed a lot of the buffs you could possibly get and made it situational, but I think they nerfed how the enemies work as well. As such, everything is both more difficult and less difficult. I no longer have the crit buffs I used to dealing with, but I think the enemies have been made weaker overall during low light to compensate for this. So low light runs don't seem as 
risky as they were before. Okay, so... Did they so, also change the stress gain? Uh, they did not. The stress gain is about the same, but thing, enemies don't crit nearly as often, so take that as you will. Anyway, there's actually something interesting here. We might be able to fix the Evex problem by stealing great wealth from an Obscura hideout, making them, like, an actually viable species. Do you wish to go and, like, free the Evex from their entrapment here? On their planet with a, like, shoddy economy that doesn't seem to want to fix itself? Do it. All right, and we just boosted ourselves, so let us begin. So, as before, Operation Clay, triple our range. Move and shoot with the energy blaster at you. Well, you just died instantaneously. Okay, Giga Cannon you. You're Giga Cannoned. You're Giga Cannoned. It says the Giga Cannon's supposed to deal the most amount of damage. Oh, it's almost dead. Uh, Giga Cannon, please? It missed. Okay, fine, fine. What's the next thing that hits? Gravity Lance. We're out of triple range. That works, and now for you. Who's quite frankly out of range, so let us go full speed ahead. And who are you? You're also weak to the Gravity Lance. Alright, no more Obscura here. We just need to get a few more good shots lined up. And we are good. I, bel I don't know if they ever did that fix, because I haven't boarded any of the missions in the Darkest Dungeon, considering my last run and attempt on the Darkest Dungeon ended in abysmal failure. <sighs> the entire party was wiped. Yep. Anyway, large-scale banking failure. Should be fixed-ish, kind of. Can I, like, attempt to improve the local economy? God, no. What are Obscura? I think those are just, like... Strange, enigmatic mercenaries. I think that's what they are. Can I... I can't give them anything that would actually fix them. Oh wait, I can help build property development. Things that would improve the economy. Planetary History Museums, let us build some things on their planet to try and fix it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Evex. Dear God, they were, okay. So, we're gonna have to do an immediate stop. Ah. <sighs> Scale banking failures because they're constant civil war because they can't get out of the banking failures, which cause more banking failures. I'm gonna try to hold off an over overwhelming attack. Doing a lone defense here. Oh, I've got burlust allies in this. Whoa. All right. So, Burlus, we're defending these Evex from their horror. Let us go and try to save them. So first things first, start off with Operation Clay, as always. Immediately pull up triple range. Turn around and begin the burning. And it's now Minigun? No, it's Gravity Lance. What is that shot? Oh, I don't want to drop their local budget effectiveness. God no, Energy Blaster, please 
finish this thing off. Well, at least we're getting epic reinforcements. Are these things just not dead? Oh. Shockwave, shockwave, and they clear it. That's irritating. So, please, can we blow up one of them? Good, that's something for us. Auto fire and just clear these things out of our face. That's not even a flagship, isn't it? It's not. I I should just start working on all these enemy flagships here. Oh, I'm with the blow up burlusts, aren't I? Eh, if I have to blow up Burlusts, they'd probably appreciate it. Unless there's only Thorax... No, there's only Thoraxians here. So yeah, the Burlusts are actually providing assistance. It is a good description of the economy. Uh, the, when one thing goes wrong, it just continues to spiral out of control until faith is rebuilt. Wait a minute, those are kamikazes. Oh, those do count as flagships, okay. So Giga Cannon keeps going. I'm just going to prop another triplet range. And let's get to work on you. I have so many Thoraxians that are just on my ship because they're technically just stuck as slaves. But I can't use them for anything, so they're just sitting here pointlessly. I need to blow up one more flagship. The hurler does not count. Kamikaze. Champion ability cloaking device. So, triple range again and hope I can... Oh, it's dead. Okay. Lost the two armadas. And Evix are going to be kicked out. So friendly actions. Closest thing I can even remotely do is provide support for dumping stuff on there. Tactical support for ground invasion. God, no. Uh, no reason to fire a diplomat, so I can't actually provide tactical support. Morning, vitamins, sounds fantastic, farewell, wakalicious. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm just going to destroy this outpost in vengeance and then get the Evex back in position. And the Burlusts are here, bombing everything into non-existence as well. Why did I triple range there? I wanted to pull out Operation Clay. Good job. Oh well, not like it's the first time I screwed up. I wonder, does it auto track and automatically target my ability? I mean, like my ship's ability, does it automatically target whatever's weak to like gravity lance style weapons? No idea. It certainly seems like it sometimes. Also, can that military outpost just, like, finally die? Seriously. Alright, Evex. We've been doing our best to help you. But everything else has gone south. And sour. Maybe... Oh, there's still some Evex pirates sitting around here, because there's a ton of them. I'm... Um... Bucks. That was their last world. I know you weren't trying to seek revenge, but I think we can all agree it's better this way. Those guys were freaking nuts. <sighs> the Theraxians have a new world. 
<laughs> Even our minor military installations are important to us and staffed by our people, yet continue to blatantly destroy them. Why? Well, that's not a problem. You know what we're going to do. I am going to smuggle in Evic Resistance Fighters now. Go. You're all cloaked. You should all be cloaked. Clay. Triple range. And just be... Oh, great. We're fighting Burlusts here as well. Oh well, if they're going to try and stop them, then we will do our best to defend them. These are our people. You need to understand that these people are going to form an integral portion of the Federation. We just need to get rid of everything trying to stop them. Raxian's emergency response hangar. What is the best thing to destroy this one? The minigun. Let's go. Well, we're going to lose some troop transports no matter what happens. Giga Cannon, please hit something important. Operation Clay again. I can triple range, but that's about all I can hope for. Minigun. Get rid of this thing. These long ships. Take a long time to kill. They definitely do take a long time to kill. What else is good against them? Minigun. Surprising. I'm just hoping I could land enough fighters on here. I mean, we can even shortwave virus and get some of these shots to start working for us. Giga cannon. I'm not even sure it would be good here. Honestly, I'm just gonna start alternating again. Alternate with the bullet clears and just hope and pray. Havoc pirate base destroyed. Why are the Thraxians? Why do they grow so many? Did they just like immediately get the buildings? You can't possibly. You already have five deep tunnels. Just boom, instant deep tunnels. That shouldn't happen that quickly. No wonder we can't get rid of them. Yeah, no. Ooh. I could just drop the Evox there all day, every day, but we're not going to be able to get them back on their home planet or onto a home planet. They're they're quite effectively dead. Fair enough. Uh, Federation progress. Yeah, Evox are dead. Skylaxian's dead. That was random chance that killed the Evox. We could have easily gotten them in on this mess and actually not had a third Thraxian planet to deal with. But there was nothing I could possibly do about that. Freaking bugs. Can we get everyone else to declare war? Hey, Peltians. Is it possible for you to attack... Thraxians. I'll gain 22 voting proxies. Sure, I'll take it to gain some voting proxies. Oh, wait, we spend some and then gain a certain amount back anyway. Attack at my honor and my request. Boring regent. Bring the flamethrower, and let's call it bug repellent. So Peltians, join the war on this. The Evex can't possibly win that fight. If they, like, show signs of it, then yes, I would gladly do so. But it's just not working. 
gonna aid the local economy for now because hold up hold up hold up what I'm seeing here is there's a chance FX go we need more Immediate stealth. Clay. You mean we could bring range. them back to being annihilated? You can, it's just near impossible usually. And I mean near impossible, I mean it's near impossible such as you have to get them to win a ground war, which is usually the reason why they hadn't succeeded in the first place. But maybe the Evox have enough ground combat capabilities where if I land these extra troops there, we might be able to win. Maybe. It's like, we're hoping. Now, will it work? Odds are probably not. And now these ships are going to start getting destroyed. I just want to just destroy their response hangar so they can stop sending more stuff our way. And now we can go to auto firing to clear up this mess. And then shortwave virus. Giga cannon. Shortwave virus. Giga cannon. And now we just sit here spamming all these buttons. Because I heard buttons and I heard spamming is what we need. Yeah, I take it that several things came from behind and blew up the rest of the Peltian, uh, Peltian's Epix. Alright, how many ships made it? Participated. One ship was destroyed, so nine should have landed. I think.